Sometimes when you're craving barbecue flavors, you just don't feel like firing up the grill outside, but you can still enjoy those delicious flavors without having to leave your kitchen. Chef Mark Hiddle, he is a barbecues. He is here now to show us how to do it. You're creating a full meal for us today. I'm That's so right. excited. I love barbecue. We're starting with the chicken, rotisserie chicken. What gives it that delicious rotisserie taste? The rotisserie, it, because it's on the spits and it turns like this while it also turns through the fire at the restaurant, we have a big rotisserie there. That's what makes it all the juices rolling around inside of the chickens, so makes it the really good juicy rotisserie. Yeah, chicken. and obviously we don't have a rotisserie, right. most of us <laughs> sitting in our kitchen. So you have agreed to show us how we can mimic all of these great flavors and this great food in our own kitchen right. without going to the grill. So first let's talk about the rub that you're using on this chicken. Okay, this rub, it's got garlic, onion, you know, it's just a regular barbecue-ish rub. It's got garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of cayenne, some cumin, some paprika in it. Salt and pepper. And what size is this chicken? This is like a three to a three and a half is what we usually um, look for. And you mm -hmm. always want to look for a fresh chicken because it'll be more moist when it's done cooking. Now, how come some chickens that I see in the grocery store, they're mammoth, they're huge. Yeah, they, you know, they, they sell you what they get there. But if you look for a chicken that's around three to three and a half, it's going to be more moist because it's not going to take as long to cook and it won't dry out. Okay, so the bigger the chicken, the more dry we're going to get. Correct. So three, three and a half is what we're looking for. Right. And, and the rub, should we leave it overnight? No. Just if you do, it'll end up kind of salty. Mm, we don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us again what's in the rub. We have barbecue, you, you said garlic? Garlic, onion, salt, pepper, paprika, cayenne pepper. Okay. Um, it's just a basic barbecue rub. And how um, how early should we put the rub on the chicken? Right before we? I usually put it on right before we get ready to put it in the oven. Correct. Okay. And you want to do it evenly all the way around because you don't want to get a piece that doesn't have some and then some mm -hmm. that does. Oh, it's a cute little chicken. And, and then, go, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. That's okay. We usually take the wings and we'll fold them back like this before we put them in. Okay. And what's the purpose of that? Just so they look good. Oh, it's all about the presentation. <laughs> That's right. The That's chicken right. has to look good. Now, what are these? I was uh, you were kind of explaining these to me. What is this? Well, these are called a beer can chicken rack, and you can you take these and you put any sort of a can in here that'll fit in here. This one has a an empty can in it, or you can put in a soda can or a beer can. You can put anything in these cans that you want, and when you cook the chicken on that rack. The flavor will come out in the chicken. It'll infuse into the so chicken. So whatever you put in the can, and what are you right. using? We're going to use apple juice in this. So one. apple juice is going in this can, but you Correct. said we can put anything in here. Anything you want. Any and it will it like. will infuse that flavor into the chicken. So That's how do you right. put it on? You're going to put your your apple juice in, or whatever you like. Okay. And you can buy these in the store. Yes. Okay. So a beer can, can rack, store. chicken rack. And then you just. The chicken just goes right on it. Somehow. All right, and then that will infuse. Now, why do you use apple juice? I love the flavor of the apple juice in the chicken. Yeah, the apple yeah. is tasty. Yeah. Wow, that's easy. And then you actually you get a potato or something, and you make like a cork here so that the flavor stays in it while it's cooking. Okay, so cork it with a, a potato, right. and then it goes right in the oven just like this. Goes right in the oven. How long? It's going to take about two hours at three, three twenty-five. Wow. Wow, that's very cool, and we can make the rotisserie chicken right in our own kitchen. Right. Tell, them, tell me a little bit about barbecues. You guys have been in the Valley, what, 30 years now? Yeah, just about. It's been barbecues for 10 years. It was Bobby McGee's before that since the early 70s. Bob's wow. Owned and time. what are you known for? I know rotisserie chicken oh. is just one of the things you guys do. Rotisserie chicken, uh, brisket, mac and cheese, ribs, just about anything on the menu. And a lot of folks say they keep coming back because of the side dishes, and that's nice when you have a place that has equally good side dishes as they do meats, right? right. Yeah, absolutely. And we do um, great steaks. We age all of our steaks in-house and we cut them there. And you guys are a family-run business. What right. is, when you have a family-run business like that, there's got to be something really special when you guys come into work and you work with people who you love and who've been running this company for quite a long time. Yeah, it's, it has a lot to do with our crew. Um, most of our people, they really care about what they're doing. You know, we, we Hire really well, and all of our employees stay there a long time. And tell us where we can find you. Uh, we're right off the 17 in Dunlap. All right, in the West Valley. So if you have not been to barbecues, go ahead and head out and try them out. Delicious barbecue. This is just step one. We have two more dishes to do. And uh, Chef, you've agreed to come back and show us some corn as well as a baked potato that we're going to definitely want to try. We have these recipes for you on SonoranLiving.com. Thank you so much. We'll see you a bit later, Terry. It smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you.